हेलो जमीर Yeah, sorry, I had uh, joining difficulty. Jamie, we don't hear you. I guess he had some problem connecting. I also had serious difficulties today. Jameer, can you hear us? Deesh and Ashish, shall we just take some questions? Some people are raising hands. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. Before uh, for yeah. the time, uh, Jamir gets organized. Yeah. yeah. So there is a question uh, hand raised. Uh, let me. Yeah, Anik. Anik. You can unmute uh, yourself, Anik. Uh, hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, sir, my question is that when I am using. when i'm using vistumbler in windows now so uh, after making the option of filter uh, i am not able to see uh, any kind of graph or uh, neither that option looks down in the below table of graph uh hi anik uh Are you able to see the plots uh, without applying the filter? Yes, yes. Without applying the filter, I can see all the plots. But when I'm applying the filter, I am not able to see anything. Uh, then it is probably uh, while defining the filter, you have to give the exact uh, name of your uh, yes. basically the I, device. Yes, yes, sir. Actually, exact name I am giving. Whatever my device has in them. I I thought the same that this might happen, but I tried again and I couldn't get anything. Uh, so there is a star in that field, uh, asterisk. Basically, you have to remove that. Okay, okay. Uh, where it is said exactly? When you, wherever you are defining the name of the uh, the device in the filter window. Yes, yes. Uh, there is an asterisk uh, put there uh, beforehand, so you have to remove that. Uh, okay. While in the name of your filter. Okay. 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 I will. I will try then. And yeah. What happens? I just try to do it by now, so it, I do not get. At the end of the lecture, I will try to raise again. Okay. Okay. Hello, Ashish. Desh. I'm audible. Yes. Hi, Jamil. Yes, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so I had issue on my laptop. So I have, I have connected now via my mobile. I don't know what's the issue. So, anyway. Okay, you can go ahead. Uh, since there are no other hands raised, uh, you can continue with your plan. Yeah. Okay. So today we like we are discussing like whatever. the issue they have faced uh, on any platform so that that is the plan for today so 
if there are any issue we'll discuss otherwise uh, uh, we will discuss how it can be applied to like in astronomy or radio astronomy and how can we do a little bit we'll discuss about that so we'll wait for a few minutes we'll see whether we are getting some more queries from like people as so otherwise we'll move ahead what is your desh yeah i think you can uh, proceed uh, ashish if there are no other questions uh, that i can see right now okay so uh, like last time uh, i also got few queries from different people like mahade was uh, mahade uh, is he here mother you can unmute yourself so is it uh, like uh, uh, did you solve your problem may not be able to unmute himself i think let me see okay okay yeah. mother can you unmute yourself now okay uh, so we'll move so uh, we just want to know like uh, how many of you have performed uh, special other from the refresher course and what kind of difficulties they have faced uh, so can someone share their experience so you guys can raise your hands and let us know if there are there were any installation issues or uh, Maybe you moments, can share your experience, but... like uh, whether you found any difficulty, whether installing or by performing the experiment, or you found something peculiar. Please raise your hand, and we'll unmute you. Okay, maybe we can ask for if there are no hands raised for this. Uh, uh, how many people have been able to start the experiment uh, or start experimenting with the setup done? Sachin has. Sachin has. Hmm. Okay, Sachin, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yes, Sachin. Yeah, uh, uh, I was doing in. Uh, my mobile uh, i connected my laptop and uh, i started the experiment we using mobile and laptop so as uh, i was like i started well uh, everything was working fine but as i started to increase the distance right so after increasing the distance i'm get i'm not getting a proper graph what uh, you have shown i've, I've tried uh, two or three times but it's not uh, as we can see in the graph you already given so Yeah, so which experiment you perform first one or second one first yeah, first one first the first one like yeah okay so uh, so. as like uh, is there any condition right i'm just uh, increasing the distance uh, mm -hmm. right uh, very straight very not uh, disturbing much more but as uh, as i'm going uh, as i'm increasing distance the graph uh, like suddenly grows or uh, falls directly So yes, sometimes it it goes, uh, it grows, and sometimes it falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is so, there like uh, any issue with the, that mobile application? I was like, at what? Uh, hello. Yeah, but yeah. how much it grow? Uh, can you say that? How many dB increase you see? Yeah, uh, I, I don't remember. Yeah, for one second. I see, because it's a. If it's a small like, amount within the uh, uncertainties. No, it's it's uh, it's actually uh, I can say as little large. 
it's not small but it's large it's large deviation i'm getting okay are there any reflections nearby uh, that can occur no 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 i have already switched off all the things no hotspot uh, switched no, off no no the device. reflection from the walls or any other uh, furniture no 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 uh, everything was open i just okay. opened everything okay then i might try second too. one i have not tried second one is there because of my neighbors uh, connection or something because uh, there are many wifi connections around me so i, I have selected only my network uh, for their experiment but still i think because of their radiation something uh, so what software uh, are you using for recording the data uh, that mobile application let me uh, Uh, yeah, okay. so, Wi-Fi analyzer. Wi-Fi analyzer. Okay, okay. So if you keep track of just the data coming, I mean, you have the ability to put filter in that yeah, application yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, other networks uh, should not interfere. Yes, yes, yes. I've tried it. Huh. So there might be something else happening uh, other than this. even if like person is taking around if you are moving no, around then also it will reflect uh, you need to be no, no. see i think uh, essential things you can check first uh, which are data connection being off okay, okay. there is no um, big data activity uh, which might change the power levels uh, based on when it does transfer large amount of data and so on okay uh, while increasing the distance should i uh, move it horizontally or like parallelly or uh, what i am doing is let like sometimes i'm uh, i'm just uh, picking it up and uh, increasing the distance like i just pick my chair uh, that stand and uh, i increase the distance yeah that should be good because you're keeping the distance from the uh, uh, floor roughly same right yeah picking the same uh, Uh, as long as the other other one is also at similar height the radiator is also at similar height okay now what i found when i like uh, initially when i started using application i didn't found any distortion initially uh, right uh, i just tried to uh, increase the distance and moving uh, my phone upward and downward i didn't found anything but as the time increased like after 2 or 3 minutes it suddenly uh, starting showing any disruption in that Uh, in that uh, decibels after 2 3 minutes it doesn't uh, start immediately after uh, like going on uh, after some time it's just start dropping and increasing this happens or should i uh, only use two laptops or two mobiles because i have tried with laptop and mobile only okay so your radiator was a mobile and uh, mm-hmm. your laptop was the receiving uh, gadget right no uh, from yeah uh, laptop was sharing and i received from mobile okay ready it was laptop and uh, yeah in this case so oh, your yeah, yeah laptop hotspot uh, i don't know how we have never uh, don't have much experience with that uh, <laughs> right you not enough yeah, yeah. laptop being the hotspot hotspot yeah. mm. how stable it is it's good to check uh, maybe as a uh, you know exploratory thing you can keep everything constant don't change the distance okay. and yeah. just see what level of variation you see uh, as a function of time or i can check uh, with my uh, that router wifi router without uh, connecting with the network yes yes you can use that yes okay okay uh, so uh, to understand correctly you created a hotspot on laptop is that true no i uh, like uh, i was uh, getting the uh, the decibels in laptops uh, like and and sending through my mobile okay okay so you are measuring on the laptop and no okay okay transmitter is mobile phone yeah okay. and uh, when i was trying with it uh, from different mobile right uh, when i uh, use my brother's mobile so i'm getting the same kind of thing that's what i want to say Okay. yeah if you can uh, arrange to put that in the flight mode and if okay. it still allows you to create a hotspot that is the better situation okay okay yeah. let me check or or is there like uh, any condition that i have to do uh, for continuously for um, 
like large amount of time for about 10 to 15 minutes to get that curve something like that no i think it's always good to wait for a few tens of seconds for the value to settle and take that value uh and in any case you can sort of stay put at one uh, you know location and uh, also study what is the general variation you see intrinsically okay. in your yeah. source okay as a function of time this will give you a, a idea about how good a source that is and what is the level of variation okay so okay so there is like nothing like calibration uh, what we see in like a stellarium application or that there is nothing kind of uh, yeah a calibrated mode to calibrate first into some position well you can calibrate uh, you know but uh, it's not necessary because we are making a relative measurement and as long as each measurement is uh, reliable it should follow the uh, the general trend we expect to see okay okay let me check i'll, I'll like give a response on the email okay thank you for that Okay, Sachin Dubey. Uh, Barker is asking. Yeah, I think Sachin is. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, Sagar. Sagar, you mute yourself. And yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yes. Hear you. well so i tried uh, both the experiment uh, in the first experiment i i also noticed a lot of fluctuation uh, sometimes uh, and i did not plot it in the in the mobile app i mean there uh, i thought that i mean if you stay at some distance for some time and if you stay at other other uh, point at some other i mean if the time scale is different then the plot is going uh, i mean uh, flatter like that thing so i i take the data at different distance and then plot it like this i did so i think that's the correct strategy anyway uh, because you, the plot is sort of showing you the continuous monitoring of uh, all the action that is happening and you are interested in spot measurements uh, and which, this is a better strategy to adopt change the distance uh, stay there for a while and take the stable value yeah, yeah that is i i plotted by hand that that yeah, i yeah i think mentioned. that uh, you, that might get you to the desired much more quickly than mm -hmm. getting caught in the variations that it will show while you're moving okay. and also uh, i got fluctuation then i did fit it with uh, linear fit and and that makes something okay. linear well there is fluctuation is there i mean with with those data we cannot plot a straight line so you have to fit it i think i i fit it like this well, you is mean that... even at a fixed distance you're getting fluctuations and that's yes, what yes. you pick to as uh, fitting basically taking a mean value yeah. be uh, be watchful about how much variation you're getting and if uh, why you're getting that much variation if it's large enough uh, that might be related to uh, you know the data channel being on and and so on um, some activity might be going on which you can switch off by putting it in the um, flight mode no if i if i put it in flight mode again i can't see any data like this thing is there no so you don't want to have the data activity you just want the yeah data activity is uh, off data activity is off correct so that's, that should work uh, except uh, see what the variation is in the plots you might see large variation because it might choose the min max in auto scaling mode so it might look like a lot of fluctuation but if you look at carefully the uh, values on the y axis they may not be varying by large amount yeah uh, after One fitting i have seen that they are quite close to the uh, change or something uh, fluctuation is not unusual okay uh what the fluctuation was there i mean i i repeated this twice or thrice yeah it's worth checking what the magnitude of the fluctuation is okay it might be a good uh, information in any case that will tell you the reliability of the measurement uh, in any case even after averaging
Okay. Uh, and then uh, Aisha is like she has raised her hand. So Aisha, can you unmute, unmute yourself? Um, good afternoon, sir. Am I audible? Yeah. Yes. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, you're yes. audible. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, sir. Actually, I tried doing this experiment. Um, I have applied filter, sir, and when and I am uh, saving it, exporting the file using file export, uh, export to CSV filtered APs. And then uh, in that file, I'm able to see all the other signals as well, in addition to my signal. And I'm able to recognize it uh, according to the names. They are all uh, from my neighbors. How should I filter it, sir? So, uh, I've applied filter. Like once I tried at using, um, midnight, or? like around two o'clock or something. A Windows, sir. Windows. Windows with Tumblr. With Tumblr. Okay. So, with, uh, with Tumblr, yes. Actually, uh, while saving, uh, there is an option to save all uh, access points or just the filtered access points. So you can choose the filtered access point uh, option. And that should give you just uh, data from your filtered uh, AP. So while uh, saving, you can see there are all APs. Uh, yes, sir. I'm APs. Doing that. Yeah, you just select to filtered AP only. So. And while plotting, so you can. I selected filtered AP, but then when I do the same experiment. Hmm. Okay. So uh, maybe you can when I do it the uh, around two o'clock or something at midnight. Yeah, yeah. So the point seems to be uh, yes. that uh, in the, in this exporting uh, option or the saving option, yes. there is again uh, a facility to do the selection, the filtered data alone or all data, and that's where uh, you've been suggested that if you choose the filtered option, filtered data option you might get the file containing only the data of interest uh, but i'm not able to see that no i'm i'm going to file and export export to csv filtered aps i'm saying filtered aps hmm. okay okay so that way i'm getting all filters again i'll check that sir yeah, you can check, uh, like, even still, if you are, like, uh, getting the same thing, so maybe you can, like, uh, send us a screenshot, so we'll look after it. Uh, anyways, if you are getting all access points, uh, you should have data from your access point as well. So, uh, yeah, so you just need to deal with your column. Uh, other access points... Okay, sir, so I'll have to... File size a bit. Okay, sir. I'll check with that. Thing. Yeah. In fact, the other access point data might serve as a good reference. You can creatively use that as a, to see what behavior uh, because you're not moving in any specific increasing distance uh, situation for the others if they are coming from far off anyway. Uh, you might see that as a good reference uh, measurement. Those signal strength should be, should be constant. Roughly constant, yeah, unless there are other issues. Mm -hmm. So having got the data for the others, you might use it profitably. Okay, hope Aisha, this will like uh, resolve your problem. Uh, Next, uh, Tamal Sarkar is asking. So you can unmute yourself and ask your doubt. Tamal, can you hear us? Tamal Sarkar? Uh, okay. So, speaker is not working. Um, oh, unmuted. Muted again. Yeah, he's unmuted. Okay. Please speak on, Tamil. Yeah, 
sir. Yeah, we can hear you, but your voice is a bit slow. Okay. Actually, uh, I have used a mobile laptop uh, and I have uh, used uh, the Python program that you have given. In there, there are max, mean, and ten data. So, which data we to consider? Mean, max, or the uh, above the ten data? Okay. Prakash? Uh, sorry, you are talking about max, min of what? There are 10 datas with the time in, in Python program. I got the 10 datas. So you were you kept the receiver at the same location, is it? I actually using the experiment 2. For experiment 2, I was Okay. No, so these 10 data points are for different distances or for the same distance? Hello. Did, did anything change across uh, these 10 measurements? Was the distance of the reflector changing or if it's doing the first experiment, was it uh, was the distance changing? I think you lost the Yeah, but I'll generally mention that if you, I mean, there will be some fluctuations for the same location, even without changing any aspect of the experiment, when the receiver and the, um, the emitter are you know static. So the best thing would be to let it run for a while, let's say 10 samples, and then average it over and use that as the value for, for that particular location or setup. And then when you change the location, then you do that again, let's say 10 or 20 samples, uh, subsequent samples on that particular spot, then average that. And I think that should work well. Kamal, if that does not answer your question, you can raise your hand again and I'll, and you will see what other issue you have. I think we can move on to the next one. Mahadev, we can ask. Uh, can you unmute yourself and ask your doubt? Yes, yes. Uh, Zumit, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, yes. So what I did, uh, uh, as I uh, discussed with you, I tried every step uh, which is given in the, uh, the, the PDF, which you shared in the Google Drive, like Okay. Uh -huh. So at, at the end, uh, I am getting, instead of getting a graph, I am getting just only circle uh, in the middle. So it is not showing the graphical nature. I don't know why, why what is that thing. Only circle round is there. At right? uh, time is equal to zero second. Everything is there. Time, A, B, G, Y, K, per second, some, everything is came. But the only thing is that I'm not able to see the graphical nature. Only the circle is there. Why is it so? But while uh, performing experiment, uh, uh, you saw the there is a change in the variation, right? Or graph? No, yeah, experiment, uh, I tried it, but uh, earlier the problem was I could not find the transmitter address earlier when I installed this Wireshark. Then when I reboot, uh, re, uh, reinstall that software again and uh, uh, rebooting this uh, Mac, then I found the transmitter address, and then I did the same thing. Now it is at time uh, zero, so second, everything is at circle. There is, a, uh, I think, this is a initial stage. No uh, data is coming. Is it so? Uh, Mahadev, uh, are you able to capture any packets when you start Wireshark? Actually, ah, yes, yes, I, uh, I, I could see when I click on uh, this uh, all all packets and then uh, all packets. I can see the graph. Okay. Okay. And then when I untick the unable this uh, all packets, and then I just tick on the filtered packet. Uh -huh. and then I'm, I'm, I can see only circle. There is no graphical nature. Okay. So it might be, uh, there might be some problem in defining the parameters or uh, it might be that you are not getting the data that is the power. 
measurement through wire shark mm-hmm. so yeah. uh, were you able to switch on the monitor mode in wire shark yes yes monitor yeah, earlier na some initial stages yes yes there was some box and i i could able to see the monitor and then i okay. clicked there uh-huh. and that was available but now when i uh, this is the last step right the last yes. step where we have to untick the enable the uh, filtered packet only right and then yes, yes. we have to change y axis and y field yes so i did the same same thing everything is fine but uh-huh. instead of coming graph i can see only the circle at okay. zero is zero zero right but zero zero so uh, which macbook uh, do you have macbook pro i mean uh, which year that is in i think 2017 uh, okay so it could also be a hardware problem but uh, if it's mm-hmm. macbook pro then problem problem might be solvable uh, because i i saw that in uh, newer versions of mac uh, monitor mode is uh, not supported by apple i mean mm-hmm. uh, hardware can do that but the operating system stops Uh, from uh, stops the software from uh, getting access to those hardwares so okay uh, it might be possible to solve it we can uh, meet offline and uh, figure yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so I, i i will call you this time yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. okay fine thanks thanks yeah so uh, is anyone using uh, wireshark on linux so i did uh, get a question on uh, how to use wireshark on linux so i can uh, put the instructions uh, on the forum for those who are uh, using linux and want to try out wireshark So any other doubts yeah my my general suggestion continues to be that uh, even while you have the advantage of the graphs uh, please ensure that you are able to uh, take a measurement at a given distance or given whatever change situation and look for the you know stable value and note it down separately because uh, these plots which will run as a function of time you will find it will the appearance of the variation will largely depend on how fast you are moving how uniformly you are moving and so on so forth okay so don't uh, interpreting that will be difficult for you uh, it will be advisable to also parallelly note down the measurements for a given situation be it a distance uh, of the receiver for the first experiment or the uh, reflector distance from the radiator um, in the second measurement uh, note down the power levels as you record them for that situation and even some 8 10 independent pieces of information will allow you to actually conduct uh, the investigation that we desire you to then depending on interpretation of the time sequence of these measurements which might be affected by how fast how uniformly you are moving uh, okay kushbu is asking why we need to turn off the uh, data packets her first question and she is not able to uh, like uh, turn off the her dot on aeroplane mode like uh, turn on the hotspot yeah. on aeroplane mode yeah she had asked me uh, a direct question in the chat uh, which i try to answer it's essentially if the data activity is there uh, it might change the power level 
in a manner which is uh, which might produce undue fluctuation in our measurement she is not uh, she is not able to like, turn on uh, the hot spot keeping on airplane mode so yeah so if that is so then of course she can keep it in non flight mode uh, and conduct the experiment but then at least switch off or reduce minimize all the activities which might lead to power fluctuations on its own so that's the basic advice well, what we want is a stable source of radiation so that we can see the changes that we make and the effect of it um, corresponding to those changes alone is that clear kushbu so if you have any doubt you can ask kushbu otherwise we'll move to the next portion or we'll discuss so any other difficulty while performing the experiment Yeah, Aisha has uh, one more question. Okay, Aisha, you should be able to unmute yourself. Uh, sir, I could solve the problem, sir. Uh, sir, I could I could solve the problem, sir. Thank you. I selected auto select highest signal A A P, and that's all my problem. I checked it. Sir. Thank you. So, Jyotirma, uh, so any difficulty? Yeah, Aisha has hand up again. Mm. Okay, so Jameer, we can probably proceed with. Uh, Now, I think Jyotir may that whether he has any difficulty while performing because uh, oh, last week he had a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Hope so he resolved all the problems. So that's why I was asking to him. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Jyotir, uh, from refresher course, uh, like anyone who has any difficulty while performing the both the experiment and single experiments. we just want to know like uh, in the second experiment uh, so at what wavelength uh, like uh, when you got the maximum sorry they should be saying something no no so no, can no. we discuss about that like uh, at what wavelength they got the maximum and what wavelength they got the minimum so for the second experiment so. yeah i guess so uh, If people have performed their experiment and if they got results, so maybe we can discuss a bit about that. So, how many of you have, you have performed the second experiment? And what kind of reflector you have used? So that also be an interesting things to discuss. So maybe we can raise your hand. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah, I did the second experiment. Uh, and the reflector I use actually, I place my mobile uh, in front of the almira. Mm -hmm. And I did like this. And the data, I mean, it started from a uh, 
yeah minus 32 is the maxima right so and it decreases to 42 or 43 uh, dbm at 5 or 6 centimeter distance like this okay at what interval you have like uh, took i, I take i take a uh, 1 centimeter interval 1 centimeter so yeah. at every centimeter it was dropping or it was increasing yeah. yeah it was increasing uh, yeah it was increase uh, so yeah first firstly it was decreasing mm -hmm. uh, then in the in the middle uh, there was some uh, mixing like uh, for two or three centimeter distance i am getting the same uh, for two two interval actually for two distance i am getting the same in the in the middle region but in the uh, top I think I am getting the same uh, single single I don't know, value. Okay. At what frequency you were operating? So at two point four gigahertz or five? Yeah, two point two point four gigahertz. It was two point four gigahertz. Okay. Uh, which corresponds to a centimeter. So you were like changing by one centimeter, and at six centimeter you got the maxima or minima, or the maximum value or minimum value. Uh, yeah, six centimeter. Um, okay. At three centimeter, what was the value? So uh, at one centimeter, my value is minus thirty-two dbm. Uh, at two centimeter, it's uh, minus thirty-five. Okay. And at three centimeter, it's minus thirty-six. Minus thirty-six. Oh, so it decreased. Mm -hmm. Decreasing. Yeah, decreasing. I see that. That's a little strange. Uh, I hope you're uh, measuring, you're not measuring at very short distance where the distance from the radiator was also changing for the, uh, you know, from your re receiver. Because you have, you said you use the reflector, uh, Almera as a reflector. So you could not have moved Almera, right? No, no, no. You were moving your uh, radiator. Yes. Correct. And yes. so the distance between the radiator and uh, receiver was changing. How significant fraction that was will decide the combined behavior. As long as your rece receiver was far enough that the small change in the distance did not matter, then it's okay. Well, so... It is decreasing, it should increase, I mean, with distance. I... Yeah, you can actually argue uh, yourself by looking yeah. at the diagram. Okay. Uh, we'll have a reflected ray and you have to ask when it will add in phase. And you will find that uh, it will add in phase if it's uh, if the phase shift is multiples of 2 pi. The reflection gives you 180 degree phase shift. And the extra pi will come from the path length difference, the extra path travel to and fro together. Mm. And so when that extra path length to the reflector is lambda by 4, you can argue that the to and fro distance travel by the reflected ray will be lambda by 2 each way being lambda by 4, that will give you a phase shift of pi, the other phase shift of pi coming from the change of direction. And together, they will give you a signal in phase with the forward going signal. And that is when you will get the constructive addition of the two, which will increase the power level by a factor of 2. So maybe like you can perform this one more time so you see the result. So hope your antenna is parallel to the reflector, so it's not at some angle. Yeah, uh, no, it was parallel, I think. No. No, no, also okay. make sure that the distance of the receiver is large enough that you do not get uh 
significant change in the fractional distance i mean significant change in the fractional no no it was uh, change in the i distance. think i think it was uh, more than 60 uh, 70 to 1 1 meter okay. distance it was okay. that should be adequate enough so then is surprising to see what you are getting um, see if there is anything non ideal on the way if so, there any significant reflections from metals around is one natural uh, yeah so Point. in fact since you are doing it with an almira uh, there is there will probably be a wall around you so uh yeah i'm not sure how you have set up the experiment but uh, try to account for reflections from other surfaces as well all right so yeah there was wall nearby uh, that that might cause problem right okay uh, maybe you I'll... can take a plate a metal plate and yeah, and compare those results with... the how positively yeah. distinct they are in a bit open place or uh, in a bigger room so keeping at the center the setup at the center so you can perform this experiment and you can compare the result to the previous version okay all right i will try Can you comment on this test, or otherwise we'll move to the next question? So, Rabindra Islam has raised his hand. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we uh, we would await uh, input from Sagar on um, what he finds when he does it without uh, the Almera, uh, uh, an independent exploration. Mm -hmm. That might clarify whether the other things in the setup are the issue or or the. uh surroundings of the almera itself okay we can go to uh yes, rabi mohammad rabi islam so can you unmute yourself Rabi, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Okay, am I audible, sir? Yeah. Yes. Sir, my problem is in the second experiment, uh, the reflector experiment. Here also, my uh, I am I am I am using two point four gigahertz signal. i am increasing distance uh, from uh, in 1 cm but uh, the uh, intensity is decreasing i mean the maximum is in 2 cm then it is decreasing okay maybe so, maybe i thought maybe the i have to i have a, i am using the uh, transmitter as a wifi which has two antennas but the two antennas are 10 cm distance apart Uh -huh. okay. that may be the problem yeah yeah i think you you are getting the combined effect of the two and uh, uh it is it's a slightly complex situation than a single antenna okay so yeah. you might need to uh, put also the reflector uh, more symmetrically about the two uh, behind the two uh, antennas so that whatever they are doing together is uh, boosted by the uh, of course it will be a slightly complex situation you need to analyze that carefully <laughs> but oh, good that you noticed you. that there is a complication there which requires a uh, careful uh, you know modeling of it uh, to see what what you should expect it will now depend on the distance of them and then the distance from the reflector but the essential principle guiding principle should still hold good that on reflection the signal power level uh, should boost when the reflector is at lambda by 4 distance yeah 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 Thank how you, how it would interfere for the two things radiating coherently 
is a very interesting problem okay and uh, that will now depend uh, largely this dictate uh, at what direction you are looking at because now there will yes. be a heavy direction dependent because remember this is working as a two slit uh, situation okay yeah yeah with these two antennas and you will have interference pattern in the lateral direction okay mm. in the in the plane in which these two points are separated uh, and the observer okay yeah 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 so it will be an interesting uh, issue to uh, to actually investigate quite independently okay thank you Uh, so we'll move to the next question. Sabita Das, she is asking some question, so she can unmute herself and. Sabita, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, you should be able to unmute yourself, Sabida. Uh, no, she is unmuted. Yeah, okay. You are not able to hear. Yes, please go ahead, Subhita. I was uh, trying to do a fast experiment. Actually, when I, um, I was using my router uh, and laptop, MacBook Pro, and uh, when I uh, tried to get the plot, actually, uh, for the time interval second, I was not getting the uh, plot. Means That means average Y versus time. So I need to change that to millisecond like this. So will it be a problem if I will plot... Uh, means uh, because of the time and also the signal is not uh, means so much fluctuation is there so which value we need to consider in that case uh, so you are asking whether to uh, reduce the time interval between each yeah. sample yes yes uh, you can try that, but uh, we found that one second is optimum uh, for uh, various reasons. Uh, but you can try out what happens with uh, faster sampling. Uh, what was the other question? Uh, and if there will be fluctuation, uh, so means uh, how to actually um, get a stable look that there will be so many structures if i keep it that time so using router then uh, you need to disconnect to your lan or the internet connection so that is one way so if you do that then there should not be like much fluctuation so otherwise you can use cell phone uh, and try to like uh, create an hotspot and do it so see whether you're getting the same kind of fluctuations or not so you need to disconnect to the internet otherwise. So then only you'll be able to reduce the fluctuation. That is the first thing. The second fluctuation might be due to the movement around the setup. Or the, the walls or someone is moving around the setup nearby. So then also you'll be able to see the fluctuation at the output. So uh, assuming you are using Wireshark, uh, uh, Wireshark has the capability of uh, giving you some moving average also. So if uh, if uh, in a static situation also you are getting too many fluctuations, then the last column in the filter uh, option, uh, basically the plot option, uh, in the plot, the last column where you tick the filter, uh, that should give you the moving average uh, option so you can choose how many samples to average over uh, keep the number low initially 
and allow the measurement to settle and that that is one way to reduce the fluctuations if it is uh, happening even in the static case I hope uh, she got the answer. So uh, I think she dropped out. Okay. So anything uh, want to discuss, Ashish, Desh, or any no, comment? In particular, uh, we just wanted to address the difficulties they might be facing, and yes. how we wanted to know how they are proceeding. Uh, Yeah, any difficulties or uh, anything you want to share among the participants? If not, then... Maybe the people who have been able to do it successfully can just raise their hands for us to know uh, how well things have progressed. May I request people who have made sufficient advance uh, to yes, kind of put their hands. Yeah, you can unmute yourself, Aish. Hello. Yes, Aish, go ahead. So, yes, sir. Uh, I was facing some uh, technical issues over here. Uh, Aish, your voice is a bit low. Uh, Hello. Am I audible? You're audible, but your voice is uh, low. So, I was saying like, uh, uh, I was facing some technical issues uh, while uh, setting up this uh, experiment. Since so there were some issues with my router and uh, some network issues were also there, so I was unable to do, do the experiment. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was finding some trouble in setting up the experiment. So, what was the trouble? Well, uh, the, the thing was, uh, I am getting the network connection from router only. So, how can I create a, uh, I mean, the transmitter from laptop or the mobile, if they do not have their own network connection, then how can I create them as a transmitter? Okay. Well, router is acting as a transmitter, naturally. Sorry? The router, you have router, right? Available? Yeah, I have geofiber router. Okay, so that itself is a natural radiator. Okay. So I do not have to uh, switch off that router and uh, create the transmitter as a uh, transmitter as my laptop. No, no, no. Uh, your, your laptop can act as a receiver, measurement device, okay. and the router can be the source. Is it necessary to uh, disconnect it from the, uh, the, the internet or ethernet uh, input? Uh, you know, then it can just be a simple radiator and not uh, actively transmitting data. Okay. okay. Then I would have to try that one more time. I will have yes, any we're doing. And I'll the computer. Okay. Okay, so so we assume that other others have at least benefited from the listening to the issues that are raised by others and, and the possible solutions suggested. Uh, and uh, we would like to hear from you how well you have progressed uh, in some way or other. Uh, you can post your uh, indication of your progress uh, in the in the portal, uh, the discussion forum. Okay. 
there are no more questions or uh, anything to discuss maybe we can stop for today what is the question ashish prakash second yeah i guess so i find it okay to hope, hope we hope we have answered uh, most of the queries that people had yeah so still if you have any doubts you can post uh, your doubts or questions queries on the portal pl platform or you can mail us so uh, we still can discussion we have one one more session over two two more sessions so we can discuss at that time so maybe we can end uh, today's session no uh, ayush seems to have raised his hand and uh, okay Yes, sir. Yeah, right. sir, there is one more thing. Like uh, in the previous sessions, I have uh, uploaded my questions on PV world, but uh, I was unable to check the answers. So answers would be would be available on the PV world or on on my email ID for the questions that I have set up. Should be available on PV world yeah. because the, the on the portal I haven't found any answers for my questions that I have put up. So I will go through it once and I will let you know. I'll in that scenario I'll email you if there is any issue happen at the end. Yes, sure. Okay, then uh, we'll stop our session for today. and we'll meet next week again okay thanks everyone for joining thank you everyone thanks guys thanks ashish thanks thank you all